Hello and welcome back to Focus. I hope you guys had a really great day yesterday and we are super excited that you're back with us. We have so much fun in store today. We are ready to focus. Okay, first I want to get to know you guys a little bit better. I asked you a couple questions yesterday, but then I got interrupted. So, um, all right, so I'm going to start with what's your favorite animal? Um, does yours have fur? Because mine does. Uh, oh, I heard, I think I heard it. Oh, my favorite animal is a horse. I just love horses. Okay, um, what is your favorite summer activity? Um, yes, something. I understand. It's not going um, as planned. No. Oh, hi, Will. But hey, I'm on top Will. of this. Hey, this Will. is going to get figured out. We're going to work this out. Hey, hi. Hi, Will. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I got to go. Uh, yeah, it's Pamela again. Okay. All right. Let me, uh, let me, I'll call you back later. All right. Um, hey, Will. Pamela. Hi, Will. Say hi to the kids. Hey, kiddos. You know, here's the deal. The execs from VBSR Channel 20 are really giving me a hard time because although your kiddos did a great job solving again, they figured it all out. It was awesome. Warren Elementary. Oh, But by the oh, time I course. got there... That was the playground at Wormant. Okay, I By the really time get I got there, they got away again. Oh. This is, it's, it's really disappointing. I, I keep thinking to myself, today's the day. You know, I only have three okay. days left to do this. I know, I know. I got to okay. get this figured out. I will say, I'm a man of my word. As I said yesterday, if you help solve it, you sent in something, you will get a Will Get Some Detective variety show. Uh, official become part of the Get Some Gallery. So, you know, okay. so kids, thank you for your help. You, you should have received this. Uh, if not, uh, I'll talk to my uh, agent, but I'm, I'm really bamboozled. All right, I don't well, know what to do. I have three the kids are doing their best. People. They're helping you out, but... They're doing their part. All right. Well, I feel like I'm letting them down, Pam. Okay. I feel like I'm letting your people down. Okay, okay. How about, we've got a really fun game today. Um, and it helps you work on, like, your memory recall. So maybe that's what you need help with to find these criminals. How about you play with us today, and we'll see how well everybody does. All right. Does I've that sound good? It's pretty hard to suppress some memories, but all right, I'll, okay. try to, I'll try to figure this one out. All right, so kids, before I get started on the game, find somebody in your group to grab a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, and somebody who can write things down kind of fast, because you're going to need to write some stuff down in the middle of this game, okay? So we'll, we'll wait just a second while they go to get a pen and a piece of paper. Um, all right. But I really think this game might help you out. Here's a the deal: bit. if this thing doesn't work out, I'm back to doing roller security. Yeah, and we don't. I don't think any of us want to see that. I so. really don't know that there's a market for it any longer. I'm okay. really scared here, Pamela. Okay. Well, all right. Well, don't panic. We're gonna help you. Okay. So our game today is called Guess 'Em All. Okay. Oh, so I like this. I, I think you're really gonna like this. All right. So kids. We are going to play 30 images, one after the other, on the screen. Okay. I want you guys to really focus and remember the images that you see. When the images finish, you're going to have 30 seconds to write down as many images as you can remember. All right? Awesome. Does that sound good? Okay. And I have a stopwatch here that I'm going to use after the images to give you guys your 30 seconds. Okay? So everybody gets set. All right, let me You're see. Gonna I'm going to see the images up here. Are Hold you on. ready, Will? Let me get in the mind space. It's good. For, all right, I'm okay, ready. all right. I think we're all ready. All right, kids. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, okay. look at that. Horse. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Not yet. Okay. Don't write yet. After the images finish, you have 30 seconds to write down your answers. Okay, oh, lots of fun stuff. A lot of different images. Are you, Will, are you paying attention? Yeah, I got it. Pumpkins. Cute little gerbil. Popcorn. Watermelon. 
Okay, all right kids, ready? You have 30 seconds to write down as many images as you can remember and go. All right, Will, what do you think? Uh, but I what was writing it remember? down as I watched it. So I have a horse. Okay, I remember uh, the horse. Glasses, a phone, there was watermelon, popcorn. There was a cute little fuzzy thing. I couldn't tell if it was a gerbil or a hamster. I, I can never tell them apart. Uh, there was a- Okay, you have 20 seconds. Keep There's going. a phone in there somewhere, an orange, sliced orange. Um, let me see here. There was a, I can't even read my own writing. All right, you have 10 seconds. I should have been a doctor. I can't read this writing at all. This is ridiculous. Um, and you have five, four, three, two, and one. All right, pencils down. All right. We are going to show you guys all of the images and see how many you could remember. All right, oh my gosh, Will. Did you remember the airplane? No. Uh, I think I heard you say, did I hear you say penguin? No, I didn't say I, I penguin. I thought I heard you say penguin. It's kind of Let's act like this never happened. And do donuts? Did you not remember the donuts? No. That took a lot of focus oh my to goodness. remember all these right images. Now, if these kids' brains were able to register that much information that quickly and, and That's a regurgitate lot. it onto a piece of paper. Okay, kids, my mind I'm is hoping blown. you can share with us in the comment section how many you got right, okay? All that right. is amazing. All I'm, right, good I'm job. Going away. Well, here's the deal, Pam. Okay. If they can do that, I'm convinced they can almost do anything, including help me catch these dastardly duo, Carmela <gasps> and Walden. Oh, no. Okay, well, we here's the deal. You know what they did to me again? Another note. <laughs> Why are they doing this to me? They're just playing you know, with I have you, a Will. Half of mine to have a video camera sent up where I keep finding these notes. They're, they're just, just catch they're them. teasing. Okay, I what know. do they have to say the budget, today? The show doesn't have that kind of budget. So All I'm right, just kids, gonna have to... put your thinking caps on. Here's your clue for today. Here's what they have to say. Running makes you really hot. A treat from here will hit the spot. And then they send me this image. <laughs> These jokers. Look at them just sitting there enjoying a frosty treat. Hmm. Thinking, ha, 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 All right. I took another sporting I equipment. I have a feeling I might know where this is. Kids, do you know? If you know the I'll answer, tell you this much, I'm clueless. email Liz at huntvalleychurch.org by noon and tell us what you think the clue means. And maybe we can help Will finally catch this duo. I hope so. I'm losing sponsors just like a bucket with holes in it. <laughs> It's just like draining out. I can't, I, keep, have, I can't keep it going much longer. I have no doubt. All right, well, here's the deal. Kiddos, join me at noon. I appreciate your viewership uh, supporting me like they are. We're going to figure this out. Okay, and we'll right. be back for the We'll Get Some show at noon to find out. All right, thank you, Pamela. Okay, all right, Will. All right, good, good luck. Kid. Thank good you, Pamela. Luck. <laughs> good luck. Okay, kids, I think at your age, you're probably being used to told, you're probably used to being told what to do. People tell you what to do and when to do it. And as you get older, you, meet, you begin to discover things for yourself. And talking about stuff is a really good way to discover things about other people. So I started asking you guys questions about what you like and your favorite things. And Jesus had a perfect example of talking to people to find out more information. And we're going to find out more in our Bible story today. Yeah, mm, not seeing it. Uh, maybe if you turn it sideways. Mm, mm, nope. Oh, hey, Kellen here, and I'm looking at an optical illusion. If you look at it a certain way, you're supposed to see a 3D picture pop out. Here, see if you can see it. Do you see it? It's a dragon eating a donut. No, it's a baseball player using a rubber chicken as a bat. It's just a bird, a normal bird. Yeah, I still don't see it. Okay, but I also have this one here. This is cool. So the lines look like they're moving, but they're actually not. It's playing a trick on our eyes. The way these lines are put together gives them the illusion of movement. Crazy, right? We've been talking this week about taking a closer look at what's around us. When we're taking a closer look, maybe we can see things that we hadn't seen before, or maybe we can see things in a new way. Our Bible story today is asking us to take a closer look into who Jesus is. We're in the book of Matthew, and when we pick up the story in chapter 16, Jesus has already been on the scene for a while. 
and people were wondering, who is this guy? He's doing miracles. He's feeding the poor. He's hanging out with all kinds of people the rest of the world looked down on. He's teaching new things. Who is he exactly? So we read that Jesus was walking down the road and he asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? His disciples turned to each other and they didn't answer for themselves. They told him what other people were saying. They told him, some say you're John the Baptist, others say Elijah, others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets. That's what the disciples said. But let's say you asked people today, who is Jesus? You would probably hear a lot of different things too. Maybe some would say, he's a great teacher. Some people might say he's a great rabbi or preacher. People might see how he healed the sick and call him a doctor. People might say Jesus is love, that he is the light of the world, that he is a shepherd for his people. People have a lot of different thoughts about who Jesus is. But let's go back to the story now. His disciples had given him answers of what others were saying, but then Jesus asked his disciples, but what about you? Who do you say I am? I wonder if the disciples were scared here. They were put on the spot. Maybe they didn't know exactly who Jesus is, or maybe they didn't want to say what they thought. But here, Jesus was asking them point blank, who do you say that I am? They had to answer for themselves. But then, after a moment, Peter spoke up. He too might have been scared or unsure, but he said this, you are the Messiah the son of the living God. Now, Jesus is many of those things we listed, but Peter recognized he is so much more. And here's the thing, you're invited to recognize the same thing. If you see that Jesus is the Messiah and ask him to be a part of your life, he can and he will continue to change your life forever. Now, Jesus went on to tell Peter that his answer was revealed to him by God and that Peter will be the rock that he would build the church on. Now, here's the thing about Peter. He wasn't perfect. He said some pretty wild things and made some pretty big mistakes, but he was honest and he wasn't scared to say what he was thinking or ask questions of Jesus or other people. Peter took a closer look at Jesus. He saw the way Jesus loved, the way he taught, the way he changed the world. Peter realized Jesus is the Messiah. We can learn a lot by being honest and asking questions just like Peter. You can talk with people about what you believe, especially talk with people in your life that you can trust, like your parents or your small group leaders. The more you talk about what you believe, the more you can learn from others and the more others can learn from you. That's it for today. I'll see you guys soon as we continue to take a closer look. You know, we all have things that we really want to know about God. I always have things that I wonder, things that kind of make my head go, Pff. but the best way to find out answers to those questions is to talk to people, talk to people you trust and ask those questions. That is a really good way to focus on God and get to know him better. Let's look at our bottom line for today. Our bottom line says, you can talk with others about what you believe. That is a really great way to find out more about what you need to know about God and to focus on him. So we are going to focus on our Bible verse again today. And our Bible verse comes from the book of Hebrews. And it says, let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith, and he is the one who completes the journey of faith. Hebrews 12, verse 2. Did you guys memorize that? How much of that could you get without looking at the screen? All right, by the end of the week, we're all going to do it together. All right, now, you guys have a really fun day. So, let's get to what's in your VBS box today. You have some really crazy fun things to do. You have a Bible activity that has a matching game where you can write down some things that you know about Jesus. You have some more sponges for some really wet fun outside that'll be really fun. And you have this awesome craft. It's a marble maze. 
I am super excited. Okay, so I want you guys to build your marble maze and send us your videos. Show us how well your marble maze works. We want to see all the fun things that you guys are doing at home. All right, now don't forget to tune in to We'll Get Some Show at noon, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Everything you do